gas and we want all the smoke. We're taking pleasure in meeting you. Fit like music is a label that you don't take for a joke. All right, you guys, so this is your boy Ticket. Shouts out to the Lions Den. Basketball community salute to my brother A Weapons. He represent midlife music. Um, go to TicketTVMedia.com. Get the music, the merch, and also follow me on Instagram. Y'all see it right there on the screen at Ticket TV Media on Instagram. Salute to everybody that's following me on Instagram. Also, make sure y'all follow me on Facebook, Facebook.com backslash Ticket TV. Make sure y'all follow me up on Facebook as well. And let's get right into this video, man. Got to talk about the situation with the ex-wife of Shaquille O'Neal, Shawnee O'Neal, man. And the situation that's going on with Shawnee O'Neal is, oh, man, she's facing some real scandalous allegations. Now, for you guys who don't know, Shawnee and Shaq didn't work out. Shawnee then went on to produce the Basketball Wives series show which has been a real successful show, even though it's had like a lot of ratchet behavior on it um, and just a lot of foolishness on it. it. It was either way a real successful show. And so, you know, you've kind of seen the moves of Shawnee in somewhat of a light for the last, I would say, 10 to 15 years. Now, um, now Shawnee... Uh, who was apparently engaged and has now married an ordained minister uh, that you guys see on y'all screen, if I'm not believing this guy's an ordained minister, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so everybody thought, okay, well, Shani may be headed in the right direction. She's a first lady in the church. She an ordained minister. Well, that was until there was an interview uh, with a guy by the name of Luce Cannon that came out uh, a couple days ago. And Luce Cannon... Uh, let the cannons loose. Now, uh, he alleges uh, that he um, had relations with Shawnee while she was engaged to the preacher. And he says, this is, this is the crazy part, he's alleging that Shawnee paid him to, uh, you know, he, he basically, you know, it was a male gigolo, I would say. He, he said Shawnee paid him to give her the beefcake. Uh, and so he said that Shawnee paid him 50 racks. Uh, Shawnee paid him. He said at first, at first, I think they said it was uh, 10, but he said he wanted 50, if I'm not mistaken. And he alleges that Shawnee paid her, paid him 50 racks while she was engaged to this guy and said that Shawnee told him allegedly that she wanted some good beefcake one last time before she got married. Now, again, she's she was supposed to be engaged at this time to this ordained minister. You understand what I'm saying? And this dude is a legend that, you know, Shawnee, you know what I mean, paid him 50 racks to get busy. Listen, here's the thing, right? I haven't heard Shawnee's response from this. Um, but I'm going to tell you all something, man. And I'll be very honest with you. I know. Over the years, Shaq has said that he, you know, regret. He said that he made mistakes. Shaq said that he cheated on you know, Shawnee. He made mistakes and stuff like that. Blah, blah, blah. It's things that you've heard, rumors you've heard about Shawnee. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know Shawnee personally or none of that stuff. But um, this story is kind of crazy because, the man, like I said, the man said that Shawnee paid him 50 rats just so he could give her a beefcake. And I'm just thinking, like, wow, like, she, like, you supposed to be you supposed to be with an ordained minister, a dude that's of the cloth in the church. You supposed to be a, a a first lady in the church. You supposed to be getting against this man. Now this man got to hear this these allegations about you, you know. And and again, somebody brought up the point yesterday. I was hearing him talk about how Shawnee is supposed to be a first lady, but she still be dealing with the ratchetness of that show, basketball wives and stuff like that. So. Um, listen, man, here, here, here's my thoughts, right? I'll be honest with y'all, man. Um, a lot of these chicks, and that's just, just me. I don't trust a lot of these chicks in these NBA circles. I just don't. I don't trust a lot of these chicks, man, in these NBA circles. That's just my, that's just how I feel. I'm not saying that they right or they wrong. I just don't trust them. You know what I mean? Um, Especially, 
you know, the ones who really, really, really are bent, hell bent on being seen and heard and in certain circles and stuff like that. Like, you know, uh, I think the dudes that have the most success are the ones that keep their wives and their, and their private lives personal, private. You understand what I'm saying? I, I believe that. I don't think that the woman like, you know, that you see uh, that are supposed to be married or, or with somebody that are on social media showing all the goods to everybody else. I, I don't believe that, you know, that's something that's supposed to be a private thing, man. If you're going to get your freak on, you do that in private, bro. You don't put that to the public. You know what I mean? Why would you put that in, out in the public? And so I'm not saying that I seen Shawnee doing that. I'm talking about thirst trapping. But I'm talking about a lot of other women I've seen them thirst trapping and stuff like that. Like, they're supposed to be married. They on, they on Instagram thirst trapping. Like, any man can write them. Any man can sit in here in his mind and desire and put any kind of desire in his mind with you. Because social media have made it accessible for anybody to talk to your wife. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? And so, you know, and the brothers, you know, some of these dudes are irresponsible. Don't have no responsibility. Don't understand how to how to treat a woman. Don't understand how to be a leader. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, of a household. And don't understand how to handle responsibility. Uh, some of these brothers are so busy uh, doing their own foolishness that they're not focused on the right things. Uh, it, it should be focused on. You understand what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. Uh, but, you know, I've noticed that a lot of these women have grown up in single parent homes along with the men. Uh, they have gotten away from uh, what didn't come up under certain values. A lot of them didn't have fathers uh, that could like teach them different things and how to carry and conduct themselves dealing with men. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because see, it's different when you have like a real father in your life. You know what I mean? Um, who, you know, see, because what your father going, there's a woman, what your father going to do is he going to protect you from all these slime balls out here in the streets. See what I'm saying? And so when you don't have a father, it's, it's real difficult. I know some people, um, you know, take that for granted. That's not something I take for granted when you have a family, you know what I'm saying? When you, you know, I've always believed in two parent households uh, where, you know, your mother and your father both contribute to your life, whether you're a man or a woman, you know what I'm saying? Uh, some of these dudes, they've been raised by, you know, single parents, whether it's just their moms and stuff like that. And so they don't learn the v basic values of being a man. You know what I'm saying? Because I know some people say, well, oh, uh, a, woman, a woman can be everything, man. Listen, a shout out to all the single parent homes, all the single parent mothers. A man need to take responsibility and be a man in his, in his son's life or his daughter's life. Because it's some things that only a man can give a child. It's some things that only a woman can give a child. You understand what I'm saying? So if, you, if you're a young woman, your mama is going to show you different things about being a lady. Your daddy is going to teach you about the harsh realities of the world and dealing with these men. And so you know how to respect yourself first. So that when you go out into this world, you will and shall be respected. You understand what I'm saying? And so I believe that it's, uh, you know, a, a, a different type of thing that we got going on now because we got so many single parent homes that people are missing one whole half of the family. You're missing one whole half of your teaching while you grow up. You know what I mean? That's why you see some of these dudes, they're so, they ain't, they don't, they don't, they're not, they're not, they don't, they're not really rooted and grounded with a lot of things that men should be understanding. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, for me, uh, I'm just going to be honest with y'all. Like, you know, your pops teach you how to change a tire. Your pops teach you how to cut grass. Your pops teach you how to cut edges. Your pops teach you how to change oil. Your pop teach you just a lot of different things that you need to learn. Hold on. Uh, that you need to learn as a man. Your father brings that into your life. You understand what I'm saying? Your father teach you how to be a man and navigate in the street. Your father teach you how to not be a sucker and stand on 10. You understand what I'm saying? Your mama comes and gives you the love and the, and the, and the, and the, and the adoring. 
and she gives you the other side. You know what I'm saying? The care and the nur- and the nur- and the nourishment. You know, she she brings that calmness and that love to you. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, that only a mama can bring. And so, you know, it's the same thing with the woman too. Like, you know, it's things that, you know, uh, a man can't teach a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, some some women have sing, are single parent homes. They only have their father. They don't have their mom. See, and so they miss out on a lot of things that only women can teach their they daughters. You know what I'm saying? Women teaching their daughters about, you know, just personal things they have going on in their life and their upbringing. You know what I'm saying? And, and women, you guys know you guys know this. You know, you, you're teaching your daughter about how to care for a household. You know what I'm saying? How to uh, uh, take care of herself. You know, just from small things, how to do your hair, do your nails, keep yourself presentable, clean yourself. All of these things, uh, mothers, you know what I'm saying, bear that love and bear that on their daughters. You know what I'm saying? Things that, you know, a mother's touch puts on their daughter. So, you know, sometimes when you have these homes and then when you don't have the, the two parent homes, some daughters may lack some things. They may lack that real true. Not, they only may only hear one side of things as far as dealing with men. And then they go out like I, I've noticed that, though, you know, what I'm saying like, you know, and so my whole thing is, is this. I always tell uh, parents, you know, when you're going to have a uh, when you guys have a responsibility, have a kid, man. I always recommend that those people want to actually and ha- are actually together. You know, you're not just having kids with women you're not going to be with because that's very to me, that's very important. And that's what we lost. We lost the essence of a family structure. In, in this era, you know, uh, 30 years ago, it was a family structure. You know what I'm saying? 35 years ago, 40 years ago, it was a family structure. Family would struggle together. Uh, they would get by together, succeed together, fail together. But it was a family structure. You know what I'm saying? Now it's more so of just a ratchet uh, social media uh, uh, thought, um, uh, you know, uh you know, just uh, low level thinking of, of some of the brothers type of mentality that's going on. You know, brothers sitting in the house all day playing video games and stuff instead of going out there and go get it. You understand what I'm saying? Living off the woman, you know, smelling like corn chips on the sofa all day. You know what I mean? And then want to and then want to pull a rank in the house, tell everybody what to do. You know what I'm saying? You the laziest one in there. You know what I mean? You ain't even, you ain't even, you know, out there, you know, making it happen. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, I, I just think, like I said, it's a lot of different things on both sides that I just feel like contribute to stuff like this now. Because like I said, this is true. What this dude said, it's absolutely disgusting. How is you allegedly engaged to a, a minister, a man of the cloth? You supposed to be become a first lady, but you allegedly paying a dude fifty racks to give you beefcake. Come on, man. What type of time is that? What type of time is that? You know what I mean? And I'm just telling you guys what it is. Mar- Marion Davis, I appreciate you. Salute. Marion Davis, I appreciate you. Salute. So I'm just telling y'all what's up, man. You know? And so, uh, again, I was disturbed when I heard these allegations. I was like, man, I hope this ain't true because dude said that lightly. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've heard some things about Shani over the years. I haven't said nothing because I don't know if it's true or not. But when you hear things, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, bruh. And then you see things. You see, like, I see the show and how ratchet the show is and stuff like that. And it's just like, man, you know, and Shani's behind that. She's behind the show, basketball wise. You know what I mean? You know, where chicks fighting each other all, all, all the time and gossiping and just a whole bunch of foolishness, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we, we lived in an era where this stuff didn't, didn't really exist. You know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't all of these, uh, BBLs and stuff like this. And, you know, you know, women getting reconstructions to their faces. You just, you, you roll with it naturally. You know what I'm saying? This is the type of era I come from. You know what I mean? And so when I look at things like that, it does bother me to see that because I'm just like, man, Damn, man, our teachings, man, you know, families ain't lasting no more. You know what I mean? And it's just that. Families not lasting no more. Marriages, people getting divorced. 
I read an article this morning about how Tyreek Hill, the football player, is filing for divorce because his wife won't sign a post-nuptial agreement. Like, it just, I, I don't understand, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just different. It's different in this era. It's different in this in this world, man. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to be a family and get along and live a, 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 a healthy, uh, you know, it, you rarely see those families who ha, ha, are, are, are couples who are married for 50, 60, 70 years. You don't see it no more. All, all you see is just a bunch of thought behavior out here, man. I'm, you know, it, it's it, it, it's just a part of, of of how just despicable this world has become. You know what I mean? Like I said, if you guys, any of you brothers open your Instagram right now, what's the first thing you see? You know what I mean? I mean, any brother in the chat room right now can tell me. If you open your gram right now, what's the first thing you see? You see somebody else's girlfriend, wife or somebody, dropping it like it's hot. I, I just don't understand it. I don't understand, I don't understand why they don't keep that stuff private. You know what I mean? You know, you keep it, keep that stuff private, man. It, it's it's not no mystery no more. You know what I mean? Like when 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 you used to take out a girl back in the day. It was a mystery to what you were going to get to, but you had to get to that. You know what I'm saying? Now, it ain't no mystery. It's all on the social media. It's all on social media. It's all on social media. It's all on social media. Um, he said, why is that in your news feed? Oh, because if you follow NBA basketball players, the first thing that comes up is the women they with and people they with. And once you start seeing this stuff, you start seeing the uh, thought behavior you start seeing the thirst trap pictures and all of these things that come with that. Uh, so that's why, you know, I, I'm, you know, uh, look at a lot of basketball stuff. And listen, I follow a lot of chicks too online, a lot of them, just to see the foolishness that's going on in the public. This is what they're putting out there. So, you know, if you open my Instagram, you're going to see a thicker shorty, period. And, and I'm not lying. You know what I mean? And I'm just sitting back looking like, man, they doing all this in public, man. God, dog. They not leaving no work to the brother. Like, it ain't no mystery. You know what I'm saying? Normally, that stuff would be done in private. It ain't even in private no more. It's out here in the public. Everybody got a OnlyFans. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, bro. You know, I you know you want every man in the world to see what you're working with. I'm just saying, and you wonder why you can't keep a man. Wonder why you can't keep a man. You got every man in the world hitting you on your DMs because you're showing everybody what you're working with. You know what I'm saying? And so what you've done is, you know, like for, let me give you an example. Look what Shawnee got on right now, right? She can get a man, she can get a good man like that. You know, I'm going to tell y'all something. You know the type of men that you would invite in your life if Shawnee was dressed like that all the time? Which I, I'm not saying she's on thought behavior as far as her dress, but I'm saying like if women just move like that and they're dressing formal, nice like that, you can get a good man. Because a man is going to respect, I'm going to tell y'all something, like when we, when we went to school, back in school, a man respects you off your appearance. That's how he approach you. Right. So if you move in like a, a, a thought, if you move in like a, a, a freak, a man going to look at you like, yo, I'm finna get down. Period. That's the instant get down. But shout out to my boy C. Turn in the building. But if you move in like you formal, but you cute, a dude going to approach you in a different way. It's going to be a different type of energy. That's why I keep trying to tell y'all it ain't that no more. It ain't everything is started out now. Everything is on the ground with their legs open and just, you know what I'm saying? Everything hanging out for everybody to see. Everybody, mama, everybody, daddy, cousin, brother, all that. You know what I mean? All that. You feel me? And so I'm just telling y'all what it is. Like, and that's why you got different. You know, things that's going on now. Everything is different the way it's moved now. You know? And so I'd rather 
Me personally, I'd rather you look like this in public and then do your little freaky stuff in private. You know what I'm saying? And be trying to, you know what I'm saying, show off in public. Because see, women sometimes be thinking, like, if I can show off in public, everybody going to want me. No, you're going to draw the wrong type of attention. The dude, you're going to draw the wrong type of dude. You're going to draw dudes that don't even care to have a conversation with you. You understand what I'm saying? They just going to want to get the draws. That's I mean. That's just the truth. But if you carrying it a different way, a man going to have to approach you a different way. See what I'm saying? See how he's dressed? See how that guy right there on the screen is dressed? See how she's dressed? They look solid together right there. That's the relationship that you say, you know what? Okay, boom. You moving right. You know what I'm saying? Versus the ratchet stuff y'all see on social media where a chick is looking like Larsa Pippen. You know what I mean? It's like, and she wondering why you wonder why her relationships ain't never last. They nobody gonna take you serious. You know what I'm saying? Nobody gonna take you serious. The only person that's gonna be dumb enough to do it is a dude like Scottie Pippen who don't have no sense anyways. So uh, again, you know what I mean? This type of stuff I'm trying to tell y'all about though. Your parent, that's why I said, the parents are important. You know what I mean? Both parents are important in your life. I don't know if y'all used to grow up. Like, you have two parents. Man, parents used to, like, it was a time when you was in high school, middle school, whatever like that, elementary, middle school, growing up, at least up until high school, where your parents used to pick out your wardrobe. And don't say, no, nah, they didn't, because you a lie. If you had good parents from elementary school to middle school, at least all the way through middle school, your parents picked your wardrobe. You know what I'm saying? Had it lined out for you, or laid out on the bed for you before you went to school. Tell me I ain't lying in the comment section. It's not like that no more. Now, these chicks is going and shopping for themselves, buying all this skinny stuff, or, or, all this skimpy stuff, putting it on and going to school. You know, unless you were in a prep, unless you were in a school where you have to wear a uniform, or going to school looking like a fool. I'll be honest with y'all. Putting all that makeup on and stuff. I'm just I'm keeping it trail. Who are you trying to impress? You know, you're going to middle school with all this makeup on and stuff like that. Revealing clothes on and stuff. Who are you trying to impress? See, that, that's type, that's why I try to tell y'all it was different. Because, see, daddy ain't letting you out the house like that. Nah, nah, where you going? You ain't finna go outside the house like that. No, you finna come back. Change that right now. See, sometimes mama would be like, well, let her know. Nope, nope, you finna come back right now. Or in the afternoon when you come home from school and you want to go outside with your friends, you go put on some little, your daughter go put on some little skimpy little booty shorts and want to run outside. Uh-uh. Hey, 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 where you going? Oh, I'm going outside down the block to play jumping jacks. No, you're not. <laughs> you finna go in there and change them clothes right there. You're not finna walk out here with that on. That's not finna happen. And the reason why he did it is because he was trying to protect you from the wolves that was outside. See what I'm saying? Think about it. See what I'm saying? Your dress invited different type of attention and energy. Your presentation, different type of energy and, and, and just everything else. You know what I mean? Straight up. Straight up. So... Yeah, uh, Top of New York said it right. Like, and that, and and look, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Like back in the day, what they putting now in public on the gram and also on Facebook on social media, those are the private pictures they used to send you. <laughs> See what I'm saying? This type of stuff that used to happen in private. Now this ain't even private. It, it's in public, bro. It's in public, man. It's in public, bro. So that's why I look like, I'm going to tell y'all something too, and I ain't just doing this to bang on the ladies because the fellas be out here, some of these dudes be, they be man, they be absolutely disgusting. But I'm, I'm going to say this, right? Like, that that's how you know. Like, it, it, I look at people's, you can learn a lot about people from their profiles and stuff like that, right? So if I look at your profile, you a lady, right? i tell y'all, I'm going to put y'all on a little bit of game before I get out of here. If I look at your profile online, this how I know how I'm going to approach you. Right, I'll tell you. I'll tell y'all. Keep it true, real with y'all, ladies. Um, you got skimpy clothes on. Every picture you showing a picture, you showing your booty off. 
in all the pictures you showing back you showing back shots you know what i'm saying and you ain't got no pictures with no men no pictures with family and you always either on vacation or you always in some expensive place i already know what type of time it is with you you know what i'm saying so i'm putting you in a certain box off top you feel me versus a woman who may be dressed like what shawnee's dressed like formally ain't really trying to be a show off always have pictures with her family you know what i'm saying and you know just looks more presentable now i'm i'm approaching her in a whole different way i'm thinking about her as wife material see you can't you can't play both ways you can't be on the, on social media ladies and showing it all off and doing all this other stuff and then wondering why men ain't going to want to keep you for a long time. Uh, they're not looking at you like that. See what I'm saying? They just not. They just not. And, and if you convert to that, and I, I'm not saying this is what stuff you do in private. See, that's where you make it exclusive for your man. You make it good for the man you're trying to impress. You do it in private. When you're out here doing it in public, it lowers everybody's respect for you. You know what I'm saying? And that's why you don't never get no good men because of what you present yourself as. Now, to the fellas, right? To the fellas. The lady's going to look at a few things with the fellas. Are you clean cut? Are you, is your face, do you, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Some women like the rough stuff on the face. Some women like the smooth, clean, you know, edge up, things like that. You know what I mean? Nigga, did you brush your teeth, nigga? Do you wash your face? Do you look musty? You know what I'm saying? Or do you look like you, 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 you smell appropriate? You feel me? Are your clothes ironed? Are your, do you take care of your clothes? Are your clothes ironed, sir? See what I'm saying? Like, look at this brother's jacket right here. Look at the blazer he got on. Smooth. See what I'm saying? Women appreciate stuff like that. They respect stuff like that, right? Right? And he's come around and got Cheeto stains on his shirt. Hey, I'm not lying. Got Cheeto stains on his shirt. Gravy stains on his collar. Lint balls in his beard. Lint balls. Right? Underarms always smelling. Right? And then I'm going to tell y'all the first thing she's going to look at. Your shoes. Do you, do you even have enough respect to put on clean shoes? And yeah, some fellas walking around. Hey, you got dirty shoes on. A woman look at your shoes say, this man, don't even, he ain't got no clean shoes on. I'm, I'm out. Just think about it. Hey, man, ain't got no clean shoes on, bro. No clean shoes on. But you want to take a girl out. Then another thing she going to look at. Is your car clean? Is your car clean? You got, I don't want to hear no bags of chips, soda bottles. See what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it real right now. Right? Receipts from McDonald's, KFC, right? Carl's Jr. bags in the back seat. See, women look at all this type of stuff, man. I'm just telling y'all this. Look at all this type of stuff. Right? I'm just being honest with y'all, man. Being honest with y'all, bro. They look at this type of stuff, man. Sometimes women be like, man, that one, I ain't respecting none of these. Because <laughs> ain't none of them can't get it. Ain't none of them got it together. And the ones that got it together are already taken. You know what I mean? These are facts. These are facts. A nigga wake up with dragon breath. A, a woman notice this type of stuff, man. You feel me? 
How much you drinking on the first date? Do you seem like an alcoholic? See, these are all the different things that y'all got to understand people look at. On both sides. On both sides. You know what I mean? Ladies, how you interact with other men? A brother's looking at that. And would another man speak to you? How you interacting with him? Are you giving him too much play? Hey, yeah. <laughs> you hugging him too tight? Giving him too tight of a hug? See, all of these things you, we looking at. You know what I mean? You're looking at all these things, man. Real talk on both sides, man. Fellas, you with the ladies, you always looking at another chick's body as she walk by. You can't keep your head straight. Every chick that walk by, you got to look behind her as she walking by. Bro, I used to do this stuff, man. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I might even go front. This, these are the mistakes that you make sometimes. You with your chick, you walking with your chick, you see another chick walking by, you like, you had to take a double, a double feature, like, huh? And then she hits you like, what you looking at? Huh? And you don't already thrown her off. Now what you don't did to the woman, you don't put that bad thought in her mind about you now. So now she don't trust you off rip. See what I'm saying? So now those lines have already been rigged because she don't trust you. Same thing with the uh, fellas, lady. You know what I mean? You openly open with other men. You feel me? I can't go to my man's house. He not there, his girl there. She say, come on in. Nah, I ain't coming in. Nah, I'm gonna wait in the car until he get back. I'm not finna, uh, nah. You by yourself? Nah, I'm not finna come in. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Now, if it's a house full of guests and stuff like that, then yeah, okay, cool. If it's other witnesses, they're cool. Yeah, yeah, all right, cool. You by yourself? Nah, I'm finna wait in the car. I'm gonna wait in the car till he come back. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna call him, hey, yo, dog, I'm waiting in the car. When you come back, holler at me. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting here for you, bro. She invites you in the house? You know what I'm saying? How she dressing in front of your friends? See, these are all the things you need to be looking at. Is your wife coming downstairs in booty shorts in front of your friends? See what I'm saying? You guys got to look at this type of stuff, man. Is she wearing a bra in front of your friends? See, I'm just telling y'all what the truth is, man. Any man that'll go in the house with your wife and you not there and it's them, man, that's not your friend. He need to, you need to get from him from around you, bro. I don't care how long he known you or you known him. And the woman that would invite a man, she got to go to. That's a no-no. She's supposed to say, oh, he'll be back in about a half hour. See what I'm saying? Then she's supposed to call you and tell you, hey, your friend here, he waiting on you. See, that's lines of respect. And that's how relationships and stuff like that and trust last. You feel me? I'm telling y'all the truth. I've always thought, like, how ladies gonna get mad at a man when you showing off all the goods on social media and then you get mad when a dude approach you like Stevie J? Like, I'm not finna, man. Huh? That confused me. Like, how you get mad at how I approach you when you got everything hanging out? Straight up. Well, I'm gonna approach you and how you present yourself. You on the gram, every single thing is a back shot on the gram. Or a shot of your cleavage. But you're gonna get mad at me when I approach you like Stevie J talking about some, oh, why you ain't, no, you know, snob. Nah. And I'm just keeping it real. And I've noticed a lot of women do that. And I ain't just talking about the woman. Fellas be out here doing stuff too. So don't take it mad. Don't, don't take it a bad way, woman. But that's a reflection of y'all selves. 
if you got all these pictures on social media, you supposed to be married, but you ain't got no pictures with your husband, you in violation. You in violation. You showing all these nice things this man don't bought you, but you can't even show the man. You in violation. You in violation. And the same thing with the fellas. If you if you are ashamed or can't put your lady with you on your social media in the public, bro, don't even waste your time. Don't even waste your time. Now, some people, I understand why you have to do it. I understand. You a celebrity, you well known, this, that, the third. You don't want people in your personal business. Cool. I feel you on that. All right? I feel you on that. But to these ladies that's doing all this stuff, showing all this stuff off to these men that's buying them bags, shoes, vacations, all this other stuff, you ain't got one picture with this nigga? Man, come on, bro. Come on, bro. But you want me to come and approach you with love, honor, and respect off rip, man. We ain't, what are we doing? Shout out to Nick T with the donation. He said she allegedly committed a crime for paying for beefcake, but nobody wants to address that. Let this be a man that did that. People will call for a criminal investigation. Um, I don't, is it a crime to be a male gigolo? But yeah, it probably is. I ain't gonna lie. It probably is. Unless you're in Vegas. I don't know how it is in Vegas, but yeah, it probably is. But I'm just saying, you know? She got a right to defend herself too, though. Because nobody said it's true or false. She's only been accused. You know what I'm saying? And so, like I said, I haven't heard her response, man. But I'm just keeping it real, bro. Like, you know, we all got to do better, man. All of us, bro. You guys, y'all definitely let me, know, let me know what y'all think, man. But try to keep them families together, man. It's very important. Keeping them families together, man. Very important. It's very important to the success of our 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 youth and our future. Straight up, that y'all keep them families together and that y'all do the right thing so that y'all can be a happy family. So it ain't no forced relationship where y'all in the house mad at each other all the time, beefing with each other all the time. It's just like it ain't going to go nowhere. Yeah, you're going to have ups and downs, but you're supposed to be strong and get through that. You know what I'm saying? Now, whenever it's a problem, people just get divorced. You know what I mean? Straight up. It ain't no... It ain't no working through stuff no more, man. It ain't no more real love in this thing no more, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything's for sale now on social media. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy, man. Let me be honest with y'all, man. You know? But think about that, ladies. I want all my ladies to think about that. If you on social media and you showing it all on social media, why he going to want to work? You already showing everything right there. So you ain't even going to make him work to show it. You don't show it to the public. So I've always was told, like, you know, how you dress and how you present yourself, how you want people to approach you. So, like I said, if you're a woman and you want men to approach you in a different way, present yourself in a different way. You know what I'm saying? Don't be on social media uh, sticking your tongue out, always showing back shots, always showing cleavage, and then talking about some ain't no man out here trying to show me respect. No, he ain't going to respect you because of how you present yourself. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. And men, same thing for y'all. Ain't no woman going to respect you if you walk around here, uh, you know, looking like a face, looking like a werewolf. Uh, you just look nasty. You know what I'm saying? Wrinkled clothes. Food stains on the clothes. Crust stains in your drawers, holes in your drawers. Come on, bro.
Come on, man. Come on, keep, keep it real, bro. Sagging your pants off the crack of your behind. Who gonna respect you, bro? Who, who gonna respect you?